Let me, let me ask you this question, going back to the earlier topic yeah. when we were talking about Trump and Bill Clinton, okay? Let me ask you this question to start. In 2008, when Hillary Clinton ran for the Democratic nomination and barely lost to Barack Obama, was Bill Clinton a net liability or a net asset to his wife? I, 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 you know, I, I think you could look at it one of two ways. I think this time he's going to be a, a net liability. I think if there's anything, he's more popular. I think he's sort of empty. He's going to be a good surrogate. But it's her campaign. You got to understand that. He is a surrogate. He's the best surrogate there is. He's going to draw a lot of big James, crowds. He said, James, he you said net liability, but you meant net asset, I assume, Dr. Freud, right? I, is that what I said? You did. I meant net asset. He told the truth. He told the truth. I think it doesn't, you know, the 2008 was one cycle. She came very, very close. She obviously is going to win in 2016, but you know, it's never easy in politics. It is not going to be easy for anybody in 2000. But you don't want to, you don't want America rising to use a clip or the RNC of you saying he's going to be a net liability, right? You meant net asset. I, I didn't mean But answer John's asset, question. In 2008, was he a net asset or a net liability in 2008? I think it was mixed, but more on the asset side. Mary, let me ask you this question, okay? I thought, the James, I, that was that was a semi-honest answer from James just now. No, you, it was well, Freudian. You know, it you know sometimes a cigar is just a cigar. Right. As you, you, say think, you, think she's, you think that he's going to be that he will be a liability to her in this campaign? That sounds like what you're saying. Is that right? Do I think Mary, that? No, Mary. I, Mary. Oh. No, yes, for all the reasons, it's her <laughs> campaign. For the things 